Now that we know how configurations and derived configurations work, let's take a second to talk about display states. I'm working with the configuration part, and I'm going to modify display states for each of our configurations. So at the bottom of the configurations tab, you'll notice that it says display states, and there's a default display state one. Now by default, you have a display state that's always active, and this is essentially the appearance that you've applied to your part. But what we want to do is we want to link a display state to specific configurations. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click, and I'm going to add a display state. Now I'm going to call this one default as well, and say OK. Now when I right click on it and go to the properties, we have one option that we can really change here. And this is link display state to configurations. So this allows us to make a specific display state that's only active in that configuration. If you do not check this box, then what you'll have is a display state that you can select inside of any configuration. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it and say okay, because this is really the best functionality when you're talking about changing appearances for different configurations. So if we select option two, you notice that the display state that we added is gone. In new two, new three, not there as well. But in default, we now have two different display states. So what this means is if you simply go into the default one, right click and go to properties and turn this option on, it will automatically create a new display state for each of your configurations. If instead you go into properties and turn this option off, you'll notice that you can now see all of them. The default that we created is available in all of our configurations. So again, in this case, what we wanna do is go into properties, link to configurations and say, okay. And now let's go ahead and modify these. Go back to our part, we're gonna expand the display pane and we're gonna modify the appearance of our part. Now inside here, what I wanna do is modify just the color. I'm not too worried about the actual appearance. It's the same properties, it's the same operation. In this case, we're just modifying the color. But if you scroll all the way down, you notice that there's a display states and it says linked in parentheses. This means that it's linked to specific configurations. So you're only seeing what's available. The option that you wanna make sure you check is either this display state or specify. Now, why don't you specify if you have multiples and you wanna make sure that you're using one or both or all of the options that you select. In this case, we could do this display state because default is active. We'll go ahead and do that and say okay. Then I'm gonna go back to my configurations and go to option two. You notice that this one's still gray because display state three is still the same as it was originally. It's still a gray part. So we can come in here, we can modify its color, and again, you wanna make sure that you specify this display state and that it's changing it based on the configuration. Go down to new two, and again, we're gonna modify the display state by modifying the appearance of our part. Now in this case, let's actually just go ahead and apply appearance. We'll come in and we'll do a plastic, we'll give it a clear plastic finish, and we'll just do translucent. And again, make sure that this option is set to this display state. If you've changed it once, it will stay throughout the file. So you shouldn't have to modify it each time, but you want to just double check it real quick. And then this last one, display state five, we'll go in and modify it. And let's just give it a metallic appearance. We'll chrome it. And this makes a lot of difference if we have real view turned on, it looks a little bit more shiny. So now what we have is an instance where we can go between configurations and take a look at the different options that we see. We have different display states for each of these. You notice that it changes each time. So this is a very handy tool if you want specific appearances or just specific colors of your parts in different configurations. This is a great way to do it. It also works in your derived configurations as well. You simply need to make a display state that's active in that derived configuration and modify it accordingly. This also comes in handy when you are using, and we'll talk about this a little bit in the future, design tables, or even if you're using something like DriveWorks. So keep that in mind that display states can be very handy, not just for your configurations, but also very handy just in general for other options.